Okay, so today we're going to be going over why you should have this in your tackle box. Now, real quick, we're going to show you this is called a pole float. And there's a lot of advantages. We're going to talk about some several things. But first, we're going to tie this and show you guys how to, how to rig this up. Now, if you already know how to tie this, feel free to skip forward in the video because directly after this is tied, there's going to be the when, the where, the why, if you will, on fishing this float and a couple bonus tips. So stay tuned. Okay, so these are relatively cheap. You can pick these up at your local Walmart for like $2.50, and it comes with everything you need in here to get this thing going for you. So you're going to have this, and it's going to come with a wire in it, and I'll show you guys what that is in a minute. You'll have two beads and a piece of string in here. Okay, so now that we have everything out of the package, basically what you're going to want to do is the very first thing is this little string that comes here on this tube, is you are going to want to run it, run that, your line through that tube, just like so. And once you do that, pull this off to the back, don't tighten it down yet, so just you're just going to pull it off and let it hang there. Go ahead and slide your tube off, get it out of the way. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is put a bead up there. And it comes with these beads, so you're going to slide your line through the bead, and now you have it. So now the next thing that you want to do is attach your float. You're going to want to take this line and run it through this float. Now this right here is pretty cool that they do this for you. So basically what you want to do is tie you a quick little knot right here around it. It's the easiest way I've found to do it. Basically you want to pinch this down to where it will run through there now and pull it through. Just like so. Go ahead and cut it off from here. So now what you want to do is it comes with two beads and you don't have to do this next part but it is recommended that you do it and that's to put another bead on to protect the knot on your hook from this float banging up against it. So now all we need is a hook. You just tie a little knot on here and I'm just going to tie an improved clinch knot really quick for demonstration purposes. Now what you have is a really slender float and a weighted float. Now what's cool about this is you can fish this in all kinds of water columns. If you want your bait just off the bottom, you can fish it just off the bottom. If you want it in the middle of the water column, test it out there, at the top of the water column, wherever you would like to fish it, and you can adjust it while you're out there. So basically what you're going to want to do, say you're fishing 12 feet of water and you're wanting to fish just off the bottom, about two foot off the bottom, um, what you can do is take this little knot here that you have and run it up to 10 foot up your line and you're going to be able to cast with this little knot on there it's not going to affect your cast but for demonstration purposes we're going to do it right here and show you guys about what this is going to ha what's going to happen here so we'll go back just a couple feet here and fish this just like this so what you're going to want to do now is tie this off just pull the lines together really tight so then once you do that and I've got these braid scissors here just because it makes it easier just cut yourself off really close okay so now that you know how to tie this basically when to fish this summer is a very very good time to fish this when those fish are moving around a lot they're chasing bait they're very very active in the night a really good tip to fishing this at night is taking these glow sticks here and you can get these glow sticks at the Dollar Tree for a dollar they're super cheap and what you want to do is get these long ones here these are um, 8 inch and this is a 8 inch pole float and you'll take it break it of course and get it to glowing and put you some tape around here near the bottom and about halfway up or three quarters of the way however you feel comfortable here leave it exposed and that way you can see this this thing's going to shine like a beacon out there so that's a really good bonus tip and you're going to want to fish this in summer now where should you fish this where should you fish this over another rig say the Santa Cooper rig which is a very good rig or the Carolina rig which is another very good rig well 
in the summertime, the water, you get grass out there, and you get really, really tall, thick places of grass. You'll get places that are five, six foot tall grass, be uh, grass beds out there, and there's a lot of bait fish that hang up in those grass beds. They hide out in there. It's a really good place for them bait fish to hide. Um, so if you throw a Sandy Cooper rig or a Carolina rig, you're not going to be able to get your bait up out of that grass. You're going to be throwing in there. You're going to be getting hung up in that grass a lot. The fish are going to have a hard time getting it out of there and even finding it in that grass. So what you can do with this, say you're fishing in 20 foot of water and you have that grass bed that comes up 5 feet. So you want to fish this, set your little stopper here at 14 feet. Now you're going to be a foot over that grass bed. That is perfect. Especially if you want to use live bait. This thing is awesome for live bait because what you can do is take your live bait on here and fish that just over that grass bed. So you have your grass bed here. Your bait is completely exposed. Now when this goes in the water, your bobber and this speed are going to float up. So you're just going to have that hook there in your bait, which is awesome. And um, what happens is that, that bait is going to be able to swim around. But what's better about using live bait with this rig is when you use a Carolina rig or a Sandy Cooper rig, there's two things that you generally happen with using a live bluegill. And that is, they will, for one, like to like to go ahead and try to find a place to hide. As soon as they hit the water, they're looking for a rock to get up and under to hang you up on, to hide in that rock. Or, they'll get tired of trying to pull that hook and stuff around, and they'll just lay down on the bottom. And they're, you're basically not fishing with live bait then. But, when you fish this, you can watch your bobber on top of the water. At all times, you can know where your bait is. You can know where that bluegill is swimming around at. And, he's not going to be able to get you hung up because he can't get to the bottom. Now, if you want to fish structure with this, as far as, say, you, you've got a big down tree that you want to fish, when you throw a traditional rig in there, like the Carolina rig or something like that, or a drop rig, you still can't see your bait. You don't know what exactly what your bait is doing and where it's at. With this, you've got your lay down here, and you've got your bobber out in the water, and you can watch if that bluegill is getting really, really close and about to get you hung up in that lay down you can pull him back a little bit because you can see with that bobber where your bait is at all times that's another benefit of using this rig now this piece of wire that it came with basically what I was saying about keeping this what you want to do is take it and make sure you get it in half and get a little bit longer than halfway through and break it off here because you're going to want to keep it alright so there we have it so we have our long piece here and what you can do, slide this back through here, and then crimp it off, just like so, so it can't pull back through really easy. And then, you can just take your line again, make you a little loop right here, then you just pull it through. And you can just keep reusing this and reusing this. Now if you've never used this rig before, or you have used it in the past and want to try it again, I strongly suggest that you have this in your tackle box. Now again, this is, a, this is not a rig that you're going to use often, but there are times where this rig is going to catch you a lot of fish, and there's times where you're going to need this rig. So having it in your tackle box is really going to make you a better fisherman, and it's going to help you catch a lot more fish with having a variety of rigs in your tackle box. And this is one that I strongly recommend that you have, especially because it is can be used both in the day and the night when this feature is added so if you like this video go ahead and leave a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel it would be greatly appreciated to have you on the channel we talk about catfishing here we fish for catfish everything that has to do with catfish if you like them then you'll like this channel because that's exactly what this channel is about so other than that guys we'll see you in the next video